most canoes, not all, most canoes are set up with a half to two thirds length painter. So that's two thirds the length of the boat, thereabouts. And that gives you quite limited options when it comes to towing. Most people will take the painter, put it under the yoke and kneel on it. That's great because it's quick release, but it also means there's a lot of pressure got to go through the knee to keep the boat under control. If you take your knee off, you lose the boat. So many people will do a quick release knot, one of which is the highwayman's hitch. Once tied, you can let go and it'll stay in position and the boat will be in tension. But if you need to release it, you give it a yank on the tail end. It's incredibly difficult to release if it's under tension, so that needs to be understood. We're gonna do a video now of short toes on short painters, which is the classic assistance method. And hopefully you'll see how difficult it is to turn the boat and how easily the boat gets controlled by the wind because it's on a, a cord that allows the boat to float away. And then we're gonna show you some rescues or assistances with a longer painter and we're lashing the boat in, creating a different type of rescue platform. There are many types of rescue platform. We just wanted to compare and contrast the options, the stabilities with a long painter and the options, the stabilities with a short painter. And hopefully the video itself evidence to how much the boat is affected by wind and how difficult it is to turn the boat.